Hello everybody, today I'm out on the Ark River with my friend Anthony and I've been hunting the Ark River for a long time looking for agates and jasper and stuff and I've always wondered where it came from and I've never really had the opportunity to go upstream. So today we're out in far western Kansas. Our journey starts about 15 miles from the Colorado border. Uh, we are in the town of Syracuse and so we're just coming out here to look at the gravel, look at the gravel bars, see what's around. We're going to take some measurements and some collections here um, to kind of see what, how it changes throughout the course of the river. And we'll be stopping about every 30 miles or so all the way back home. So we'll be covering about 250 miles of river today. So we'll be looking primarily for agates and any fossils that we can find. And yeah, we'll just see what we find. Not too sure. The river's pretty high right now, especially for Western Kansas. It doesn't always flow out here. So it'll be interesting to see. And neither of us have ever hunted the Ark River out in this part of Kansas before. Not really sure anybody's hunted the Ark River out here before, to be honest. So, a bit of a pioneer mission, see what we can find, and we'll keep you updated. Here's a mildly interesting stone. It's green. Maybe some kind of unikite or something similar, I don't know. Mildly interesting, something we wouldn't see in central Kansas. It's totally just chilling there. It's pretty cool. See you, buddy. Here's a couple of rocks I picked up before the camera was on. We got a little piece of petrified wood here, which is pretty normal for the river. And then a little piece of some sort of chalcedony honey agate material. Um, and then I also found found these. These are rosebud agates. Um, from Southeast Colorado, Northeast New Mexico. So interesting to see them here. I find them a lot in central Kansas. Um, so yeah, these are about exactly the same. So that's a couple of interesting finds so far. We'll keep seeing what we can find. The river is still pretty high. So a lot of the gravel out there is underwater, unfortunately, but there's a big gravel bar up here. Where we gonna, we're going to look around. Yeah. There's this massive chunk of petrified wood that is found lying here. You kind of wow. see the grain. We'll go wash it off, but cool grain over That's here. That's really cool. Kind of rockish. Got a little bit of a little bit of quartz embedded. That's really cool. That's way bigger than anything we'd find in central Kansas. For sure. Cool. Yeah, let's go wash it off. Nice. Nice, that's a good piece. It is pretty shiny. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we've moved down the river just a little bit. There's this bank with a lot of big gravel in it, really more cobbles than gravel. Um, so this is really why I wanted to come here. I've, I've been here before and seen this stuff and never really looked through it properly. So yeah, we'll see if we can find the rocks here are, you know, up to a pound or two in size at least. So hopefully there's a big agate lurking somewhere in here or something really cool. So keep you updated and see what we find. Anthony just threw me this stone. It's this really nice bright green. Um, and I actually find stones like this except much smaller on the Ark River in central Kansas. So that's really interesting to find something this large. Still not sure what it is exactly. It might be a type of unikite or something along that line. But anyway, definitely interesting. We'll keep that and compare it to what we have at home. Here's a mildly interesting piece. Looks like a big cobble of jasper, like a, maybe a brecciated jasper. It's full of cracks. Um, and up here, it's got some quartz seams in it. So pretty cool. I've never really found anything quite like this before. So kind of a unique rock, quite large as well. So that's cool. So that about wraps it up for Syracuse here. There's a bunch of the chunks of feldspar I picked up for to way later and the jasper and of course just this giant rocks here way bigger than anything you'd find in central kansas so that's the highlight here um, nothing particularly interesting as far as agates go um, so we'll be moving on now to our next stop which is the next county over which is kearney county and so we'll be headed towards lakin so we'll see you there we've made it to our next stop in lakin so the elevation's dropped a little bit here and the river is already quite a bit smaller and narrower, so we'll see what we can find as far as rocks. Doesn't look like there's nearly as much exposed gravel here, so we'll have to look around for a while before we find anything, but 
I've got a little bit right underneath me here and I can already see something interesting. So let's go right here, kind of half buried. Looks like we have a small rosebud agate, very poor specimen, um, but pretty sure that's what it is nonetheless. So there's at least some material here. Not a lot of rocks again, so we're gonna have to look, try to find stuff, but see what we can find. There's lots of sand here, but there is not much gravel. And the river's still pretty high, so we can't really get to the low gravel bars where they probably most of the stuff is. Okay, I forgot to film an outro while we were still there, but uh, Lakin was kind of a bust, Kern County, very few large rocks there, so. But he Our, found water. So <laughs> he found a sealed, sealed bottle of water. <laughs> so he's happy. Anyway, very little to see there. Uh, the river's fairly small. If it was down, I think you could look at gravel bars at the bottom of the river and find some stuff, but very little for our purposes. So we go onward to Holcomb, which is in Finney County. So we'll see you there in about 25 minutes. We've made it to Garden City, Kansas. So we are in Finney County now, another 30 miles down the river and have actually pretty nice gravel bars here. So we just got here. We're gonna look around, see what we can find, see how it's changed. Um, it's beginning to look a lot more familiar like we have in central Kansas. So we'll let you know what we find. Here's a little piece of honey agate, but more importantly, look at these cactus flowers. Prickly, prickly pear cactus, I believe. Very nice, big flowers, full bloom. They're all over here. We don't see those very often in bloom, but lots and lots of gravel to look through. So we'll be here for a little bit. We were just talking about how we wanted to find a rosebud agate in every county if we could and hadn't found one yet here but i think i just found one so check it out right here we got nice chunky agate and there we go definitely a volcanic type agate from the southeast colorado area very nice not actually that cool of an agate, but kind of more the coolness of finding one. So anyway, let's see what else we can find. So there's this piece, rather large chunk of rosebud agate here. So actually it's not rose, but it's moss agate, but kind of gnarly, not that amazing actually, but cool. Here's an interesting piece, I think. Yeah, so it's got some nice banding. I think this is petrified wood. You can see the grain detail there. It's very solid, so yeah. Cool, that's similar to what stuff we would find in central Kansas, so that's cool. Down here in the bushes, and I think I just found two pieces of petrified wood, so show them to you here. Two little pieces. This one's got a neat scaly appearance that I don't see very often. Looks like it has some clear chalcedony inside, so that's cool. And then this one's more the traditional boring petrified wood that you find, but still. Cool. We're finding quite a bit of stuff here in this gravel. Definitely a fairly good place to hunt for things, so that's cool. Keep looking. A couple small interesting pieces of jasper here. Got this little guy. Focus. Just little nodules, and there's one over here. Little pinkish. Not very interesting, but um, I definitely find these downstream as well, so clearly they come from somewhere upstream from here. Anyway, still look around, see what else we can find here. Thing. Anthony's just found something. It looks like, yeah, some sort of... It's like kind of like Jasper, but not quite like partially clear it's like honey agate too but some sort of honey agate that's interesting yeah cool hmm. nice we were walking around down here trying to find the riverbed because there doesn't seem to be water and it turns out we're actually in it and yes it is completely dry so somehow all that water from the last 30 miles somewhere has disappeared because the river is flowing quite well like in and here 30 miles later it's completely dry so that's 
yeah, it's just how Western Kansas is sometimes. It's very dry land out here, and water get, has a lot of places to go. So, yeah, we'll keep looking around here for a bit more, but we're about ready to head out and head over towards Dodge City. So, we will see you there. I believe I said we were going to Dodge City next, but I forgot we had a stop planned at Charleston here in Gray County. So once again, the river is completely dry, but there are quite a bit of sandbars here. So we will once again look around, see what we can find. Hopefully we find a few agates and stuff. Anthony's rambled on over that way. I'm over here, so we'll see if we can both find some stuff. Keep you updated. Couple of small agates here. Rosebud agates, this little one, and this larger one here. So we are keeping the rosebud agate streak alive. So not too surprising because they're pretty common, but we'll look around and see what else we can find. So I'm not sure I've ever properly explained our premise for this whole project. Um, partly it's just an excuse to go have fun and hang out in Western Kansas. We also are just curious. Um, what can be found along the Ark River because we hunted a lot in our own area there in central Kansas, but we've never really been out here, western Kansas, and since all the material comes from the Rockies, it's all moved through this area, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about. But um, yeah, different areas have different, different concentrations. Obviously the river here is dry, and so we're just in a dry riverbed, and so very little is uncovered here regularly, unlike in Reno County where it floods often and we get new sandbars every few months. So it's different. So far, um, definitely central Kansas uh, seems to be a lot better as far as if you're actually trying to find gems and agates and stuff. But there is stuff to be found out here in Western Kansas as well. And it is interesting to see. So definitely fun to look around and see what we can find. Little lizard. Here's another little rosebud agate, a gray one this time, so. Yep, cool to find. Not too much out here. Could be better for sure, but there's some stuff to be found. More beautiful cactuses. Some beetles in it. Cacti, Joey. Cacti, I should clarify. So I just found this piece of what looks to be some kind of wood, petrified wood. See a little bit of grain on this side and on this side. It's kind of cool. Dark in the center, lighter on the outside. Guys, I just found this thingy here. I believe this is what we call a bison tooth. Very cool. It's a piece of it. It looks to be part of one of the back molders, probably. Very cool. We made it to Dodge City, and so we're down here along the river. Um, very dried up again, as the last couple stops have been. But there is some gravel here on the ground, um, as well as out there. So. We will look around here, see what we can find. Not too hopeful for too much, but we'll see. By the next stop, the river should be flowing again, so let's see if that changes stuff. Yeah, for now, hike around this riverbed, see if we can find anything interesting. I'll let you know. I was just telling Anthony that we need to find at least one rosebud agate here, no matter how small. And then I spotted this guy. It's pretty small, but indeed a rosebud, so yeah. We'll see if we can find anything better than that, hopefully, somewhere in here. Here's another mildly interesting rosebud agate, but not particularly great. There are a few larger rocks here which are mildly interesting. However, mostly, however, mostly it is very boring. There he is. Oh boy. 
here we have a piece of very banded jasper. It's got some really distinct banding on it. Let's see here. Kind of cool. That is cool. Well, there wasn't particularly much here, so we're headed on. Our next stop is at Kinsley. Should be half an hour or so from now, and we'll see what we find there. Hopefully it starts getting better. We've made it to Kinsley at last, which may or may not be our last stop. We may have one more after this, I'm not sure. But anyway, the Ark River just starts flowing here, as you can see. Um, this is actually, there's a barn owl. Interesting. Anyway, this is actually a spring here, so very clear water. It's only just started flowing. Definitely no, no well-defined river channel here. So there is some gravel. We'll look around, see if we can find something, but not too hopeful, but you never know. So we'll let you know. I am hopeful we can find at least a small agate or two, but I don't know, we're really tired and it's really hot out here. So I'm not sure how long we'll stay, but we'll see what we can find. Well, and here we finally have a rosebud agate. Tiny little dude, but in agate he is no less. We find him here. Cool, very small gravel, so small agate. So that did end up being our last stop. We were really tired, and so we headed home after that. Um, but we had a lot of fun. We learned a lot about the Ark River in western Kansas, and kind of a lot of pioneer work in some unexplored areas there. So that was really exciting. Um, I'll have some information to put together, some graphs and uh, maps, maybe after a while once I have time to process that. And so I'll link it in the description if I get that done here before too long. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We learned a lot about the river, and it's really exciting to explore new places that we haven't been before. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, get out, do some adventures, find some cool stuff in your state wherever you are, and have fun. We'll see you then.